Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Let's Play The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. Now, last time we finished all of Rainus Athri's missions in the Mages Guild in um, Balmora, and this time we're actually going to be uh, progressing through uh, more of the Mages Guild, and we're going to be doing Edwina's quests. Now, like I said in the last episode, Edwina, her quests are a little bit longer, a little bit more carried out than Skink and Tree Shades, but um, your rewards are a lot better and it's a lot more worth it getting on to progress and to become the Archmage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started in Edwina Elbert's missions. So if we ask for duties, she'll tell us we must find a Dwarven book, Chronicles of Nooch's Left. It is a rare item. Would you be willing to find a copy for me? Yes. So the thing about the Chronicles of... I never knew how to put Nooch's Left. Um, there are actually many ways in order to acquire the book. Um, one of the first ways is you can um, go to the Temple Canton uh, in Vivek and you can steal it. Uh, also the library of Vivek in Temple Canton you can steal. Um, there is a bookseller in Balmora who I'm actually going to be going to um, in order to purchase the book. Now, uh, I'm almost positive that's where you can purchase the book. Um, her name is uh, Dorisa Darvel. Um, and I don't know exactly where in Balmora um, her exact books, uh, bookstore location is, but I'm assuming it's on this uh, west side. Nope. Hopefully we can uh, find it. That's an outfitter. I don't believe that is it either. Now, um, you can also um, go to the actual place. Oh, here we go. Oh, she's right here, right outside. Um, you can actually go to Nooch's Left, which is um, a kind of like a dungeon area, and you should be able to get it from there. So if we scroll, if we look through, I wish it was alphabetized. That's kind of the one problem that kind of bummed me out. But if you eventually look, Chronicles of Nooch's Left. Now, you can buy it for 261 bucks if you don't um, alter your disposition with her. So depending on whether or not you want to spend that much money, if you have that money to spend, it is well worth it. So let's go ahead and recall, if I can, back to Edwina and show her the book. See that one? So far the mission was actually pretty easy, so it still doesn't look like it's going to be smart. So now we are finally a magician. Um, oh wow, oh, and a warlock too, okay. Um, what I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, I did um, do a little bit of training. I did some enchant. My enchant got up quite a bit. I also did a little bit of my acrobatics training, so as you can see now I'm level 25. Um, rather than I believe I was at level 22 or 23 when I uh, last uh, ended off the last video. So let's go ahead and continue on our duties. We need a detect creature potion from Skink and Tree Shade. So basically, all you have to do is um, ironically go to Skink and Tree Shade, who is the other person that you are able to uh, acquire missions with in the Mages Guild, and you just come over and talk to him about a potion. Yes, perfect. Added to our inventory. Now, I don't believe if you actually chose Skink and Tree Shade to do um, missions with. I don't think he sends you to Edwina, but I'm not 100% sure. So, yes, here is your Detect Creature Potion. Advancement? Uh, no, we have to do more duties. Um, Ceronian and Mage Skill and Vivek has acquired a copy of Chamamanama. Would you be willing to borrow this book for me? I love it how borrow is actually in quotes. Uh, henceforth, you must steal this book. Um, there's actually a person in Vivek who happens to hold the book. Um, luckily for us, it shouldn't be too hard to acquire the book. Um, that's not her. This is her right here. Now, if you just come in here and close this wooden door, um, I believe the book is in Sirloin's... I'm going to... Sirloin wheeze? No, oh, Sirloin steak, kind of, whatever. Um, in this chest, so I might as well use the lower level. Perfect. Picked it. Um, Germanaba. You can also you take breathing water and you can read it and it'll work on your alteration skill which is actually pretty nice and it's a $400 book so you could sell it if you really wanted to um, but I just took it just for the purpose of gaining a restoration so let's skip all this and possibly recall? Nope, okay, well we have to go back the normal way so let's go back to uh, Alderun, sorry now that we have this book, I'm actually going to sleep. So for previous times, I'll be able to use recall uh, rather than running back every time and running out of magic. So we have your book. Give her the book. Perfect. How about advancements? Nope, still nothing. How about duties? I have been distracted from my studies by several reports from Margon. Apparently there is some sort of disturbance at Julian's hut. 
Okay, so I guess there is a problem going on at uh, Julian's hut. Um, as you can see so far, even though I know where most of the quests lead in regard to the Mages Guild, they are pretty easily progressive. You can complete all of them um, in a very short amount of time. Granted, whether or not you know um, the exact place that you must go in order to obtain each of the items. A lot of them so far have been booked. Okay, so like I was saying before, my game continually crashes, which is kind of a reoccurring event, and I don't understand why. I've been trying to do multiple things in order to get it to stop, but for some reason it just keeps getting progressively worse, uh, which makes no sense. But like I said, um, the missions in the Mages Guild, if you go through Edwina, they are a lot longer, but they are a little bit more progressive. I mean, they're going pretty fast, actually. Um, lucky for us. So if we go into round and... We could talk to people about Julian's hut. It's outside the town, northeast, near the shrine. Um, so if you step outside here, you'll notice that it's outside of the wall. So that's a guard tower. Um, maybe if I can hop over? No. Uh, possibly. I don't want to have to walk all the way around outside. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to do that. But Julian's hut's actually outside of Margon. It's not even considered included in the actual town, which is kind of weird because... Uh, it is technically still under Margon, even though it's right outside its walls. But it makes you think that it was kind of one of those uh, abandoned uh, kind of houses or people that were shunned from their community and had to live outside. Oh, God, and there's a scamp. So this is what happens. The second you come in here, there's a scamp. Let's bust out our ebony longsword and take him out. Okay, died easily. And if you look, he has a key. So we now have a key. Um, there isn't much in here actually if you go downstairs um, there's a couple things there's a book that doesn't do anything um, nothing really of value to steal you can rest um, it's actually nice you know good save point um, but if you come into here you can unlock this and there's an Aka guy in here what's up man scamp my fault what'd you do um, mages guild so basically he summoned a scamp because he was working on his skills and I guess his skills really sucked. So um, that's all you have to do. All you have to do is take care of that scamp, come back and talk to her about Julian's hut, and then she'll give you some scrolls. Now, we still can't get advanced. We need some more duties. Now, she has finished her reading of the Chaman Viandium book. I don't know how to pronounce it. That's just as close as I can get. Uh, that's the, the book that we actually stole um, from Sirloin Steak. So all you have to do in order to complete this uh, section of the mission is come back in here, close the door, that way she won't see you, take the book, wherever it is, who needs reading, this one, and just drop it back in. That's all you have to do, all you have to do is return the book back to Sirloin, and we might as well recall to make it look like we weren't even in there in the first place, so magic. Uh, let's talk to her about returning her book. Um, let's see what she got. Yes. So we got some intervention um, amulets. That's actually pretty nice. And boom. So this is a part that's actually uh, something else that we need uh, to acquire in order to advance. In order to advance to the rank of wizard, you must have a wizard staff. Um, I could sell you a wizard staff, but they are quite expensive at 5,000 septums. However, I also know of, of a former member of our order, Anirne, who may still have her wizard staff. Ask about uh, her wizard staff. She was in the caverns of soon, so I'm just going to buy a wizard staff um, because I have the money and it just makes it go faster. So now I'm a wizard, yes. So if we look and actually go to our weapons, we now have our wizard staff. So our wizard staff is worth $10,000, so paying for it, $5,000, actually pretty good. Um, the stats aren't that great, um, but when you look at its abilities, it'll levitate one point for 120 seconds. One point means you're going to go really slow, but two minutes is actually pretty nice to have. Um, and then also fortify unarmored, 10 points for 120 seconds. So that's actually really good. Um, the only problem is I'll be using a lot, I'll be wearing a lot of armor. Uh, if not, I'll be wearing armor throughout the entire game. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, but the good thing is I can cast this over, you know, over 10 times, maybe almost 20 times. Yeah, almost 20 times. Um, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, and it was worth it and got through faster so let's go back to more duties so now that we actually have our wizard staff we're getting close to the end of Edwina's quests we're gonna actually have to have a Dweemer tube she's actually gonna ask us to go find a Dweemer tube they're easy to find I believe I saw some Anagna when I was there would you be willing to travel there and bring me back a Dweemer tube 
I appreciate your dedication. It is northwest of Genesis, but there's an easier way to get there. Go to Aldvalothi and follow the coast to the west. Now, if we look, we can go on our map. There's nowhere that's rep uh, representing where this place is. Um, that's the unfortunate part. Um, so, in order to find out where this is, we're going to have to go look up Aldvalothi. Take the Silt Strider to Genesis and follow the roads, the roads north. I will mark Aldvalothi on your map. There we go. So now we actually have it marked on our map. It is all the way up in the northwest corner of um, the map of Morrowind, the province. So we have to make our way all the way to Aldvalothi. Now, as you can see, as you remember, she said that you can take the Silt Strider. Um, but we, we're going to be making our way to Arkgnithung to blah, blah, blah. And then when we're there, we're going to go explore inside and hopefully get that Dwemer too. Okay, so we're back. We actually made it. Um, we're here at the Dwemer ruin of whatever the hell, however you pronounce it. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It looks fairly destroyed and uh, some cool statues and things like that. Oh, a Betty niche. Ow. These things are quite creepy, actually. I don't like them. Ugh, it's creeping me out. And they're actually really strong. Jeez. I think did some work. Now, you can actually shoot some of these bows, I think, uh, if they have a loaded arrow in them, but I can't remember. So, we're in the Dweemer Ruins. Now, these things are actually a pain to try to go through um, in order to find everything. Um, luckily, I have some decently good items, uh, weapon-wise. Um, and all we have to do is find a simple Dweemer tube. Um, now, if I remember correctly, this place is quite elaborate, um, but there are some chests and things like that that you can uh, get some diamonds from, or things like that, or um, potion creating type of things. So um, we're just gonna try to push around through everything and not die too easily because these things are actually can kick your butt if you're not paying attention. Um, so oh, I was hoping it'd be there. Let's try to get rid of this guy. Nope. Nope. Oh, I'm down. Uh-oh. Okay, he's dead. Awesome. So many little things, like these little spiders. Um, ooh, small ornate chest. Let's try to open that up. Um, that didn't have what we wanted in there. Oh, well. That's okay. Now, let me mess with this audio because it's quite a pain in the butt. Um, I think... In here, yes, here we go. Here's the Dweamer tube that we actually needed. So it actually isn't too big. Um, I don't think there's another path that you can go to. I believe it's almost just a straight shot um, in order to get all the items in here. Which, yeah, it does look like a straight shot so far, which that's okay. That makes it a little bit easier. Um, not too big of a deal anyway. So, oh, there's a guy. Maybe, oh, wait, maybe I haven't gone through this section yet. Die. 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 Dang, I hit him quite a few times. Alright, there we go. We can rest until healed. That way, um, oh yeah, okay, well, I guess I just accidentally missed that guy. So, there wasn't too much to this place, which is kind of a bummer, and can I recall, please? There we go. Goodness gracious. There we go. Hello. Yes, here's your Dweamer tube. Give her Dweamer tube. Perfect advancement. Uh, pay more attention to your duties and make sure you make sure you understand your requirements. Alright, whatever. Yes, I was wondering if you might check up on one of my last colleagues in the Dwemer Ruin of blah blah blah. Excavation report. So, we have to go to this place. So you can get there by going around the mountains near Saran and heading northeast along the Foyada. Uh, the Foyada Nadanat. Nadanat. Or you can start in Molagmar and head northwest towards Mount Cond, go f north around Mount Cond along the north side of the Foyada. So we have to go to Nusjus Flefting in order to find out uh, the excavation report. Now, you can travel to Saran through uh, the Balmor Silt Strider. Here it is on the map. Uh, the best place to do it is to go to uh, Balmora. Balmora will eventually take you to Saran, and then from Saran, uh, you will be able to walk there. So. I will see you guys when we get to Nuschestablefleff. Okay, so we finally made our way back to Nuschlefting um, for the expedition. Now, it is um, like your typical uh, ruin. Or it's not much of a ruin. It's a, I believe it's a Dunmer or Dwemer stronghold. 
I believe you just have to simply come into here and talk to these guys and ask for an excavation report. Um, tell Edwin everything is fine. We just had a few setbacks. Um, someone is missing. He's taken. He was taking notes for our next excavation report, and he must have taken it with him when he disappeared. Uh, would you go and find him? Um, so you can uh, find and retrieve the expedition reports. Uh, there was a man who, um, I guess, like they said, uh, took the reports in hopes to uh, write some things on. And he's actually hidden deep in this ruin. Um, you can actually just, I believe you can skip it and not worry um, about actually finding out where he went. But for the sake of uh, being a good person, we're actually going to go ahead and do that. Now, you can see here, there's uh, a room, just an empty room with nowhere to go. Uh, but if you look on your mini-map, you can see this way leads to a little passage that you can't see yet. So if you come over to this dwarven crank and crank it open, it'll open up a secret passageway that leads down. So, the funny thing was when I actually first played this, I had some really, really tough times trying to figure out uh, how to get past this because it led to a dead end, literally nothing, just an open room with nothing in it, and just like that room, open room with nothing in it besides some uh, centurion spiders. So in here we have Anis Vendu, so it actually wasn't too far, so we can grab the report, um, we can grab, we might want to take that book, um, I'm not much into reading in video games, uh, for the sole purpose of, oh god, saving time, <clears throat> but that's okay. Um, Come on now, you have a lot of health. Jeez, man. Uh, pretty much everything here is not of use to me. That's trapped. Ancient Glimmer Door Key. Okay, I'll take that, and I'll take that. And that's a Ancient Dwemer Key. I don't. I really have no idea where this key goes. To be mysterious Dwemer device. These little Dwemer ruins are... Oh, did you follow me all the way down here? Yeah, you did. These Dwemer ruins are always mysterious. They always have some little secrets to them that um, you can discover, and they have some weird... It's always Sometimes they have good items. Sometimes they just have weird items that really have no point or meaning. Um, like, I believe that mysterious device really doesn't have much to it. Uh, yes. Here's the excavation report. In honor of our deceased colleague. You found the report. Deliver it to Edwina in Alderun. I will continue my work here. Uh, okay, uh, let's get rid of that really annoying mm, going on in the background, and let's make our way to Edwina. Hello. So, here is your excavation report that you asked. Yes, here it is. Yes, it is quite unfortunate that he had to die. Advancement? Nope. <clears throat> I want you to find some Dweemer plans or blueprints. Salinas already sent the blueprints he found in to the Emperor, but the excavation report mentioned in Mooshleft which is southwest of Dagenfell, you need to swim or fly across parts of the Sea of Ghosts. Bring back any plans of blueprints. So, we have to go to Mif... What, how do you pronounce that? Is the M silent, so Zuleft? Or is the Z silent, so Mu Muleft or Musleft? Something like that. I don't really know if these are... Because, obviously, this is a completely different language than one that's, you know, Spanish or English. So it seems like it is kind of one that's based on maybe some f French background, possibly. I don't know for sure, but it seems pretty interesting. Um, I guess, yeah, for now, I guess we're going to have to go to Mufsleft. Um I don't believe she marks Mufsleft on your map, um, unfortunately. But she says it's near Degoff Fell, uh, which I think is... Oh, okay, she does mark Mufsleft, whatever. So we're going to go all the way up there to Mufsleft, and we're here. So... Uh, best way to do it, I guess, would be take a Silt Strider to Margon from here, and eventually take one up to a path that leads up here, or you can go to Sage with Mora, um, all the way over here, and try to, um, find a way to take boats all the way around. Um, so I'll see you guys when we get there. Okay, so we're here at the Mooch Left Ruin. Um, actually I found the easiest way to do is to take a Silt Strider from Aldrun to Margon, and then from Margon to Kahul, and then take a boat from Kahul to Dagon Fell, and then you'll be able to... Um, travel over just over the mountainside here to get to the Mooch Left Ruin. Now if you come in, we need to look for some Dwemer plans. Now although we can't really see, so we're going to cast Let There Be Light, this good spell we made. And as you can see, we're going to be attacked. Now, um, you're going to want to take this guy out. He's going to be one of the first people that you take out. Um, so once we take him out, as you can see, there's a key. It looks like it would be a key in the background. 
Oh, ouch. Longblade's going up, but he is doing quite a number on us. There we go. He's dead. Uh, these are the Dweemer Scarab plans that you needed, I believe. Um, yeah, I believe those are the Dweemer plans. Uh, there may or may not be a second one. I'm actually going to go ahead and progress through the rest of Mooch left. And if there is anything, I will let you guys know. Ooh, uh, Grandmaster Lockpick. Now, uh, this is actually, I just killed a woman right outside this area. And sometimes when you kill uh, decently strong NPCs, I give you uh, really good picks. This one actually is a Grandmaster Lockpick, so that's actually a really good one. So I thought I'd show okay, that. Okay, so you see this book. Actually, if you come in and you just, that's the front entrance, and you walk in through this way, there's actually a book called Egg of Time. Uh, right here on the table. As you can see, it's a thousand dollar book. If you look inside of it, it has a bunch of weird symbols, but also shows a man, uh, two weapons, and a heart. And if there's only four pages and more writing, and then the first weapon uh, on the left side, uh, showing a little bit of disfigure and shadowing of the uh, figure, also with the heart and the other weapon piercing it from the sides. This is actually hinting towards. Um, the main quest storyline. Now at this point, if you have been this far, you would have progressed through the main storyline, story so you may have a little bit of background, um, but in this case we don't, so that was something new, uh, especially for it being a thousand dollar book, it'd be pretty interesting in one Okay, so going through Moose Left, there actually wasn't that much in here, to be completely honest. There's a little bit of armor, there's a little bit of weaponry, a couple of small items for uh, potion making and whatnot, but nothing too useful for us. So let's uh, recall back to Edwina. And uh, like I said, mark and recall are the two best spells to have because you don't have to wait that whole way just to get back. So yes, here are the blueprints. Um, wonderful. How about more? You do not meet our requirements for Master Wizard. Wow. So we have one more duty. I heard that the miners in Gnesis Mine broke into the ruins of Bathamis. Officially, the Gnesis Egg Mine was closed <clears throat> because of blight. And I have heard that miners broke into the Lost Dwemer Ruin of Bathamis. I also have heard that the that they found Dwemer plans similar to the blueprints you brought back to me before. Go to Denise's Egg Mine and bring back any plans or blueprints that you find. Okay, so it's quite a mouthful, but we have to go to Nisus. Um, yeah, Nisus is uh, pretty, f actually, kind of far, so um, it actually isn't too bad. I don't know if we've been to Nisus through. It's Margon, Aldvalothi. Um, yeah, I believe we can take this Silt Strider uh, to Margon and then to Nisus, or straight to Nisus. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but let's go ahead and take a look. Yes, we can actually make our way to Nisus. So, no no fast travel cut uh, for this position, just because we are actually already here. Now, if you notice up top, you can actually see the Nisus uh, egg mine entrance. Um, the thing about that is, and it's actually, I remember when I used to play this game when I was much, much, much younger, when I didn't really know much about what to do or how to progress throughout the game as a character playing and whatnot, I really didn't understand, and for the life of me, I could not get into this egg ruin. Um, now, I believe if you simply come up to this guard and talk to him about entering, it is locked, but if you believe, just talk to him, uh, let's uh, see if we can get in. Want to let us in? Nope. Um, for some reason, we can't talk about the egg mine. That's something interesting. He isn't a guard. He has a specific name. So, hmm. Let's. Uh, that's why I couldn't. I mean, I could pick the lock, off, obviously, and try to crouch. Um, what about you? You can't talk to me about your guys' egg mine either. For it being such a big thing in their town, do you think they'd be able to tell me about it? Egg mine, it's locked. <clears throat> yes, I have the key. No, you can't have it. I don't care who you are. Darius says no one gets in. How about not? No, whoops. How about now? How about now? Okay. So, uh, I guess I remembered ish. Um, basically, what I ended up searching for quite a bit trying to talk to these guard looking NPCs and it didn't work. Um, basically, um, for talking to these guys, I didn't have that egg mine uh, portion pop up saying um, to talk to him about the egg mine. I had no way of asking him about that. Basically, I went and talked to a villager or a, um, a community member of Nisus that wasn't uh, an egg mine security guard or whatever um, and asked them about it. Then that asked them about Nisus and then asked them about the egg mine because the egg mine popped up being as it's the biggest part of Nisus. Um, that allowed me to actually eventually talk to this guard about the egg mine. 
eventually saying, oh, he's the only, you know, he has a key, blah, 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 and then you eventually bribe him in order to obtain the key. Um, so that was the problem, is talking to a, a previous NPC before, um, and then eventually uh, getting the egg mine to pop up under danger. I like danger. Uh, eventually to pop up under the categories of asking in uh, conversation and that eventually led me to actually bribe them in order to receive the key so uh, I believe that was probably one of the hardest parts for me as a kid trying to play because I never um, lower egg mine that seems right uh, because I never it was all oh you're not supposed to be in here I'm gonna count to ten and if you're still in here when I'm done you're gonna be in big trouble okay deuces oh god uh, I don't know if it's... I don't remember where the uh, plans are. Underground stream? Maybe? Let's jump over here and maybe get around this guy. Uh, yeah, towards the end of Edwina's missions, they become quite a bit difficult, actually, in order to... Uh, at least for me, trying to uncover everything. And I never mentioned once that I knew everything about... Uh, oh, jeez. Fancy this. That actually... That ghost has a name. This is our... One of our first technically undead creatures, and he actually has a name, and he's kicking my ass right now. He has a lot. Wow, that's in, he has a lot of health. Usually they just say ancestral ghost or something, but um, I believe that's what his name is. But wow, that guy. Uh, let's sneak past this guy. Goodbye. Um, leave me alone. Okay, I'm out. Uh, geez, wow, this actually is having giving me some trouble. Uh, let's try this way. How about something that leads? Oh, there we go, Bathamas. This is a place that we actually had to go. Ow, stupid rats. Oh. Wow, even for being a really good weapon, that is actually starting to not be so good. Ah, here's the airship plans. Um, also, like I said earlier, here is the another book. Now, this is actually the second portion of Eggmine, the book that we received and Mooch left. Um, it has this weird writing and then a picture of what appears to be a body with an opening gap in the middle of its stomach. Um, it seems like a representation of a belt looping and this kind of weird misshapen arm and half of an arm. It's kind of weird. Uh, this is also hinting at another portion of the main storyline. But we have our, our plans and um, we can make our way back to Edwina. For now I'm going to uncover what's left of um, the uh, Scarab Mine. Actually no, this is Bathamas, not the we were just at the Scarab Mine. So uh, let's see what's left of this place. And we'll be back with Edwina very soon. Turns out there was literally absolutely nothing left of that cave. Just two uh, dead Centurion soldier and a, de and a dead Centurion spider. And three different dead ends. So that was about it. So we have our blueprints. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was freaking out because I clicked blueprints and she wouldn't uh, ask for them. So yes, here they are. This is truly remarkable. Their plans are very similar. Perhaps with both of them in my position, I can discover their secrets. It's the same Archmage Treponius doesn't share your dedication to scholarship. Treponius. <clears throat> the Guildmaster, well, he's certainly a powerful battle mage, but what has he accomplished? I wish the Guild were led by someone who showed more respect for scholarship, especially with all the interesting things to study here in Vartenfell. Well, how about duties? I don't have any duties. Perhaps you should speak with a Guild steward. Well, not really. Let's try to talk to her about Trebonius. Well, shall we? Um, uh, I believe what happens is you should talk to her about Trebonius, and then you should be able to try to take the place of Trebonius. Now, the only reason I believe that it is not allowing me to do that is because my skills uh, do not meet their specific requirements. Because you have to be um, one step above where I am now, you have to be a master wizard. Now, and actually, I did not realize this. If, well, I did now that I think back on my memory. But um, if you do hover over your uh, section of factions, it actually tells you what you need. So my willpower needs to go up one. And that's it. In order for me to become a master wizard. So I'll guess I'll just go do some training until my skill is up at... Uh, my willpower is up one freaking point. So Do we learn right. anything? Alchemy skill increased to 100. Awesome. Does that help? Yes, it does. Interesting. Wow. Something just happened. Uh, if you didn't see there, uh, my alchemy skill was already at 100, but I opened a book um, that uh, bumped my alchemy skill up literally zero points to 100 when it was already at 100. But 
My progress on my leveling was at 8 out of 10. Opening that book got it to 9 out of 10, even though my skill was maxed out at 100. So that was something that was kind of interesting. Two. Okay, perfect. Destruction skill went up to 48. Rest. Okay, what do we need? Willpower up to strength and endurance. Sorry for speed and agility, but endurance gives me more health. So I ended up just casting spells with destruction in order to... Uh, rank up. So now that my uh, willpower is actually higher, let's get our advancements. Now I am a master wizard. Now, you meet our requirements, LT, but you have not completed the duties expected of an archmage. It's a shame the mage's guild isn't led by someone with your devotion to scholarship. Perhaps if you speak to Trebonius, you can make him listen to reason. Well, in that case, we have to go speak with the archmage Trebonius, the almighty leader of the guild. Now, if you talk to him before you are a master wizard, you can actually receive quests from Trebonius. One of them is discovering what happened to the Dwemer, and another one is killing uh, multiple Talvani counselors. Now, but if you kill those counselors before you complete the main quest, uh, the main quest will be impossible to finish because some of the NPCs uh, that are Talvani counselors, you need to talk to them in order to do the main quest. So this is why I do not talk to Archmage Trebonius uh, Artorius about any missions at all. I, are you here to challenge my position in the guild? Do you think you have what it takes to be the Archmage? The Archmage. I have seen how you lust after the power and prestige that only I have as the guildmaster here in Vardenfeld. If you truly think that you can take my place, meet me in the arena for a duel to the death. I will meet you there. Wonderful. Very well. Meet me in the arena here in Vivek. We will settle this once and for all. So, this is it. We've come down to becoming the Archmage of the Mages Guild, which is the highest position possible. Now, in order for us to uh, allow this to happen, we must kill the actual Archmage in a duel. Now, this is the only representation uh, that I so far know of in regard to dueling uh, another NPC um, in an arena situation type, um, because how in Oblivion there is the actual um, arena setting where... You, know, you gain, you know, you get gold and all that kind of good stuff, and um, you uh, you get your uh, name. Um, it's uh, it's your battle name or whatever you like to call yourself, your positioning. Um, but in that case, it's a little bit something, you know. It's uh, it's kind of the first representation of that here in Morrowind. Actually. All right, so we're at the top here. This is the entrance in order to the arena pit, in order to fight Trebonius. Now I'm going to be making some uh, very quick. Um, just uh, looking through the things and how I think I'm going to fight him. Um, I did actually buy um, some armor hammers. Um, they're used just to repair items. Um, a lot of my weaponry, I mean, I'm a very terrible armorer. So I'm just trying to repair as much as I can um, of my stuff. And that's actually the big one that we need done. And my sword. So try to get my sword done as much as possible. This way I will be ready to go. Uh, for our fight with Trebonius and to become the Archmage. The Archmage, sorry, I believe. Depending on how you say it and your personal background of literature, Arc and Arch both work. Arch just sounds more weird, but Arc... Arc, I don't know, Arc is just a little different. Now, I know this is just tedious clicking and whatnot, so that's about good enough as I need. Now, the problem is he is a mage, so... You think he would be able to resist the things that I have pretty well. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start off with my wizard staff to, f um, and then cast some shield spells and then my summon uh, a golden saint. Um, the summoning spell will be nice uh, in order to save my ass basically. So let's see what, oh whoops, oh god, no 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 I didn't mean to attack that guy. Uh, let's use a spell wizard staff. So there we go. So, Archmage Trebonius is right here. He is actually attacking you. Uh, he's trying to hit you with a poison. Let's go ahead and summon our uh, Golden Saint really quickly. Let's get up uh, the fifth barrier for shielding. And let's get some elemental bursts going. That way, we can do some uh, decent damage to him right there. Let's go with the elemental burst shock. And simply done. He's dead that quickly. My Golden Saint even lived. My Golden Saint actually happens to have a... Uh, if you stop moving, a golden or a glass claymore. So, Archmage Trebonius Artorius is dead. As you can see, we can pick up his uh, potions if we'd like. 
he has an extravagant belt, a okay extravagant robe. Um, my robe is better just because it's enchanted. Has some shoes. Now this um, necromancer's amulet and his staff. His staff is actually really good. It's more based on attacking. Um, his necromancer amulet. This is something that we haven't seen before, which is a constant effect. Um, it resists normal weapon 25% on self, fortify intelligence 25% on self, restore health 1 point on self, and self absorb 25 points on self. Now, what do these mean? Basically, we're going to take, we're just going to dispose of his corpse and take all, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of savey save just in case. Um, but what does this mean? Well, what does a constant effect mean? A constant effect means it happens all the time, it's very constant. Uh, we'll take that in place of this amulet because that was just an amulet to have. Now, as you can, let's go ahead and look at the stats. Resist normal weapons, 25% on self, okay? Fortify intelligence, that means our intelligence is going to go up to 125 points. Spell absorption, 25 points. That will not show, and it'll show up over here or down here. And then restore health, one point on self. There we go. We have our uh, restore health, our 25% resist normal weapons and our necromancer amulet for the spell absorption. What this means is uh, you'll see my health is slowly recovering because every because of what this amulet does for every one second that passes by my actually it's one or two so one one two three four five my health went up roughly four to five. So for every second that you have this amulet equipped, your health will go up one point. This is very, very nice, especially if you're in a battle. Even though it is one point, unfortunately, it's still you're still regaining health. So you can run away from a battle and still regain health. Um, this is our first constant effect weapon. As you can see, our intelligence went up, which means our magic also went up. So that was also a bonus. So the winnings for actually defeating the Archmage are quite amazing. They're this amulet makes it all almost completely worth it but that being said we are the archmage the archmage of the uh, mages guild as you can see if we scroll down the mages guild archmage there's nothing left to do um, well what the hell does that mean well I guess if we recall let's go ahead and go back to Edwina and see what she has to say more interruptions, Archmage. Do you want more duties? Why are you here? Why, it would be inappropriate for me to give you orders, Archmage. Advancement. You want to speak with me about advancement? I am ready for... Am I ready for the next rank, Archmage? Well, no, because even if you were a Master Wizard, ye, we would destroy you easily. But, that being said, we have completed 100% the Mages Guild. Now, Granted, it's not 100% because we did not do some of the... Why can't I get down? Oh, I'm <laughs> levitating. Uh, this is actually quite the way the Archmage should go out here. Levitating in front of all of his disciples. Um, but that being said, yeah, we completed the Mages Guild. Um, all of the missions throughout it, uh, the ones that progressed perfectly into becoming the Archmage, we took down Trebonius. Extremely easy. <laughs> a very easy task, which... Um, for being the Archmage... Um, it's pretty <laughs> disappointing right there. But I think that'll be it for this time. Um, next time on The Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, we're actually going to finally begin doing the main quest missions. Now that we have powered up quite a bit, we're at level 26. We have a couple stats at 100. Uh, we're fortified quite a bit. Um, and we're looking pretty good. So we're going to take on the, uh, the main storyline and see how we uh, progress throughout that. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.